I'm Steve Lawler and you're watching The Underground. My part is at the, uh, it's called Park West at the moment, but last year it was called Twi uh, Twilight. It's actually the longest uh, running um, annual party at the conference, which I'm quite proud of, I might say. <laughs> That's the seventh year this year, seventh or eighth year. Um, Clive Henry's playing with me, um, not literally of course, but he's, he's, uh, he's on the bill and he's been on the bill since the, uh, the first Lights Out party. Um, this year I'm also bringing in Robert Owens doing a live PA and uh, Jamie Jones, Livio and Robbie um, and uh, Audiofly. Uh, I'm in the studio at the moment quite a lot so there'll be you know, bits and bobs forthcoming throughout the year I suppose and just constant touring. Another mix album, mix compilation, Viva Toronto, which will be released in June, um, with an extensive tour to follow that. Everything that I'm using in the studio right now is all hardware, going back to using keyboard synthesizers, drum machines, you know, pulling out old Rolands, things like this. I want to use old equipment again to sort of bring back a kind of warmth back into, into the production side of what I'm doing. And just because the whole thing's moved forward so much, and, you know, the whole sort of... Uh, that last couple of years seen a, a huge explosion of, of new music and I think at the moment what it needs is some old flavour again. So that's kind of what I'm doing in the studio. Yeah, I've just started working on my artist album, which to be honest with you, I don't want to say a great deal about it because I mean, when I finish it, I don't know, it could be a year, it could be two years. I'm not going to put myself under any kind of pressure and I know that at the moment the kind of tracks that I'm writing for the album um, are, you know, very eclectic sort of downbeat electronica. I don't really want to um, just write an album of, of club tracks. I want to write an album of music that I've written lyrically as well. So we'll see what happens. I don't know. It's, uh, it's an open door for me at the moment. I, don't, I mean, I'm, I'm sort of one of the old school really when it comes to beef. I was going there when I was 16 and um, just been going there every year since. And it's special. I can't really put my finger on why it's special, but it's just, I think mainly because you know, you're sharing a small island with a lot of people that you know and that, you know, share the same taste in music for uh, three months. And obviously it's a very small island, so uh, you, get out, you go out a lot, you see a lot of people. It's just kind of like a big family affair, you know, so it's probably what makes it special to people. I, I'm, I don't know, I think I've got some form of OCD or something because I have to constantly be doing something. It's just the, just the way I am. And... I, you know, I'm always, I spend every part of my life with music, whether I'm in the studio re-editing or making tracks, production, uh, DJing, getting my set together, um, running a label, you know, it's just always something to do around music. That's just because I like to be doing something all the time, really. And it just so happens that that's what I do for a living, so, you know. <laughs> I mean, I work a lot, but for me, it's, I enjoy it, so it doesn't really feel like I'm working. So I'm constantly doing something. Um, Jeez, as sad as it sounds, not a great deal. If I'm not, if I'm not touring or I'm not in the studio, I'm uh, putting my feet up watching a movie or something, you know, whatever. I don't really tend to do a great deal outside of the studio or, or touring, to be honest with you. Um, I just like to spend time at home. A lot of people go away on holiday for, for a break. I actually stay at home for a break because I don't like to travel, you know, for a holiday. I want to stay at home, do enough traveling as it is.